G'day, how you going? Eganapolis here, your acrylic guru from Australia. Welcome to me video. Now I've got some sizes up there in centimetres and inches. A lot of people like to know centimetres and inches for the size of the canvas panel I'm using. And I'll also get some colours going up the screen there for you so you can pause it and write them down. And the best way to follow along one of my tutorials is watch the whole thing first so you know what's going to happen. You can get yourself set up and you can play and pause and paint along with me, all right? All right, get on over here. We're going to revive an old one I did many, many moons ago, okay? Now, this is one I did quite a few years ago with my little um, buddy Valentine. It's only a tiny little thing. I mean, it got over 50,000 50, uh, views. It's quite popular. So I thought I'll do this again, like a bit of a beach sunrise or sunsetting sort of theme, but I'm going to do it to a quality where it can be purchased and sold as well, okay? So that's pretty much going to be my reference picture. So we'll come down to the palette here and we'll get all the sky half ready. So I've got me white, Indian yellow, I've got me red and the blue, okay? And I've got my craft paint and the extender retarder. That's going to condition the canvas so I can blend this beautiful sky the way we do, okay, over this ocean. Now I've got myself a two inch synthetic brush and I'm mixing up this student quality soft body white paint with retarder. Look how much retarder I've got in there. That's just because today outside is quite a warm day and I've masked up my horizon line on the canvas up there. So we want all this mixed in because we want it to stay wet for quite a while to get our sky colours happening, okay? So the sky half, the top half, is... I've got it masked off there. You can see the mask and tape. So I want to get this in the uh, in all the tooth of my canvas there. It is a good quality, artist quality canvas I'm using here. Okay, now I want to just brush it left and right to get it nice and even. Get all the brush strokes out of there, okay? All right, I'm gonna use a pouncer. You can use a brush or a pouncer. I love using a pouncer for this. And I've got my Indian yellow. You use what yellow you like, but I love Indian yellow because you watch what it does. And we want, where are we? Pretty much here. So we, we dance our yellow on. I'm stabbing it on. Where's the tape? Oh, there it is there. Get it down to the tape line. And about there, just about there. And probably scissor through to there. If anything, we've got it all there. Now I want to pick up a brush and put the red on. Now what I'm doing, hear it? It's padding. It sounds like that. I'm just stamping out the real coarse bubbly spongy marks from my pouncer, okay? Just like that. Okay, I've cleaned my applicating brush. Now I'm picking up this red, it's a parole red, and I'm using the brush to scallop that into the yellow and, some, and where the blue's going to be. So we want to get this in there, scalloped into the, see how I'm scalloping it into the yellow? Come down there a bit. Just like that. Now I'm going to wipe that. Uh, what are you wiping it for, Ian? Because I want to pick up the red again, okay, on it. This red is contaminated with the yellow, okay? And when I bring the blue in, I don't want it starting to make green. So now I'm going to get the red just out here. So there's no yellow in there, okay? And we're going to get some blues happening in there as well. Okay, I want to clean this brush and load it up with blue. So i am got phthalo blue on that brush. We'll start from the edge of the painting and bring it towards the red. Okay, so all along there. And get it into that red. And then you can chisel it through Give it your own nature's type of shapes in there. Mm. 
Now I'm going to pick up a blending brush and blend all the um, brush strokes out of this. And with a blending brush, always have something to keep wiping off the build up. Now I'm going to start with the yellow, the dark lighter colour here. So the yellow and the red, I'm just transitioning those two colours together, just like so. I'm keeping the brush um, horizontal to the horizon line there. Now I'm coming deeper into the red. I'm not going to go back into the yellow, otherwise I'll put big blobs of red in there. And this is where you wipe your build up. Okay, I'm coming there. Happy with the transition there. Now I'm going to start coming into the other colours. I want to get the, the blue and the red sort of blended. It's going to create its own sort of purpley colour there. Hopefully no yellow got over there. If it did, you'll get a green tinge. And if you see a green tinge in your work, it means that you've just gone too far into the yellow. You bought too much of the yellow where the blue is. And you'll know next time. All right, now we're going to blend all that blue up there. Just like so. I'm just pulling, what I'm doing is I'm stamping it and giving it some little pulls here and there because I want the um, brush strokes out of it so it's like a beautiful, soft, artistic painting. Tell you what, I'm getting a cramp in my arm. All this blending, I'm getting blender's cramp. All right, that's looking good. Just before we get going, I picked up a smaller pouncer. I want some of this craft paint there. Get some of that on there just to give some intense in the sunlight up there probably down here just there okay and i'll slowly pull that away blending it out so i've got a, a an intense glare over here somewhere it's not just stark yellow you can see the difference now i'm going to pick up some more of the paint again and just give our artistic intense, where are we? Let's say sun is about here. Give it a bit of a twist. There we go. That'll do. It's artistic, it looks great. Okay, I've picked up some white titanium paint on my fan brush and I wanna create some clouds. So let's put something maybe where this blue is, say about here, and join the blue and the red together with that. I'll come up off the painting there. And it's picking up the colors to create the shadows and whatnot within the cloud, okay? So I'm gonna blend the bottom, because that's over your head, so it needs a bum on there. Okay, blend the bum, blend the bum of the cloud, and start participating that blending up to the cloud, okay? Keeping the bum on it. And there we go, we've got an overhead cloud there. Wipe it and tickle the tops. Just to sit them down a bit. There we go, one cloud there. Now you've got to wipe or wash the fan brush that you put that cloud on there with. Wash it and dry it and dampen it in a towel. Then we'll get something else over, I don't know, maybe something here. So let's put something nice and luscious, pick up some more paint, nice and luscious. Give it some kind of a body. It's picking up the sunsetty colors there. See there? Okay, wipe your brush. I'm, I'm, there we go, not too heavy. I'm giving the bum on it. I'm putting the bum on it. There we go. Wipe your brush. And start blending, giving it some turmoil with inside the cloud. Okay. Fluffy, bright. All right, we'll give that a bit of yumminess. So we'll come over here, crack it there. Just some yumminess within that cloud. And this one here can have some yumminess as well. Just like that. Grab your blending brush again and sit that yumminess down, but leaving a lot of the glare of it there. Okay? Just adding the third dimension to our cloud. Same with this one over here. Now 
And now just to give it some depth and perspective within this sky, I love to put some clouds hovering in front of the sun and just at the bottom here. So we could probably do some out here. Well, this is gonna be linear like long now, coming across the bottom of the painting. See how I've come above the horizon line? About, let's just try there for now for that one. And we're gonna blend that down to the atmosphere, down to the horizon line, okay? So we're bringing it down. And if anything, it's making, you know, like storm colors, storm shades, a bit like that. Now, where's my tape? I feel I didn't come down enough. That's okay, I'll add a bit more. So I'll add a bit more just in front of that. Just where are we? Somewhere about here, just so I've got something to bring down into that atmosphere and it might create lighter and darker values but that's okay now that paint like I said it's a warm day here it's drying up quite quick so I've got to work quick and now I want to bring those lineal ones within the painting like I said so we'll put something I don't know maybe here coming from here right in front of that cloud like that give something a bit bigger of a body and then skinny it along there like that pick up some more white let's get it there like that there we go maybe something up here yeah work out where these little fellas go and probably something at the bottom here as well just something we can blend down to the atmosphere. Just the bottom half of it, the very bottom half of it. I'll tell you, I'll show you what I mean before it dries on me. There we go. I think I've got it. And all the sunset colours have made up within the sky there. I'm going to grab a smaller one just so I can blend some of this. Where are we? Down. There we go. Beautiful. I'm just a bit unhow do you do with that little bit of strong red area there, so I'm just going to pick up some more white and let's just see if we can bring something just to break that up. The red's a bit dry now, but that'll be all right. I'm going to use this brush just to do the blending. Scratch it into that red. There, just to get rid of that. How do you do bit in the middle? Okay, the sky is done. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Eh? Well, I've, I've given it a blow dry. Now I'll take this tape off. Okay, it's a low tacking tape. All right, that can go in the bin. That day. I'll, I'll put some more tape there. Now I'm just getting my finger just to squash that hard line down from the tape so we don't get a, a built up ridge underneath the painting. And now we're ready to mix up the watercolours. I'll, I'll mask that up so we get a nice straight even horizon line, something a beginner can grasp, okay? And we will get the bottom colours going. Okay, I want to Grab the tape for the horizon line. We'll just go a tidbit over that so we don't get a white line there. It's just a low tap tape. Now water, like me little one there, we're gonna have dark, a lighter, and then the sand color. Where are we? There, dark, lighter, shallower to the sand color. And for that, I've got the phalo blue, I've got turquoise out of a tub here, and I've got my yellow ochre, yellow oxide, okay? So we'll start with the dark colour out there. Uh, before we do though, I might grab this rest of this white retarded paint here just so we get some kind of blendings happening. Okay, we'll get all this onto the canvas there like that, just so we've got a surface to blend. Now I'm just wiping the build up off that brush and I want to pick up the phalo blue. Now this has no retarder in it. So I'm using it on this brush and I want this to come about down to there. 
okay? So I'll get it right on the horizon line there and see that retarded white paint allowing this to scoot across the surface really nicely. There we go, and I'll probably come down a bit like that. Simple water. Okay. Now I want to clean this brush. I want to pick up the sand colour, which is my yellow ochre, and I'll probably have that at least all the way from the bottom. And tapering up into there like that. And you can add some white. Where is the white? If there's any left, just to light that up. So I'm picking up, wow, look how much turquoise I put there. What am I painting, a car bonnet or something? All right, I'll pick up the turquoise. This is the shallow area of our ocean. Get that against the blue there. Get it to the water's edge there. And then start merging those two colors together like that. Now I've got the brush on its side, pulling it sideways and getting that all the way down to there. Now I'm going to bring it back on its this way again, just so I can scallop it into the sand where the water's hitting the sand. There we go. Now I will pick up just a bit of um, the phalo blue on there, on the um, turquoise, because I want a bit of a dark band there, just like that. That can create a crashing wave or something. All right. Go. And if you like I've done there, I don't want to go too far. I'll put a bit more turquoise back in there. And then pick up some white. Do that, wipe it, and brush that through just so you've got some aspects of water movement happening in your ocean there. Then we'll put the the detail on it. Okay, I'm getting some of the white on my fan brush. See where the sun is roughly. I want to kind of get something like this just dancing on the water. Pick more up so it's more sharp, more sudden, bright hitting stamp. There we go, just like that. Somewhere there like that, glistening across the water. Pick up your pull brush and lightly Pull it through the water just like that. Okay, simple. With some of this red, let's grab some of the phalo blue in there. So we can get some kind of purple going. Where do you want your wave? I want mine about here somewhere. So I just want a bit of a, let's go from about here. And I'm gonna go a bit fat. That's my wave, okay? And I'm gonna come out to nothing. There we go. I want to, just because I feel artistic, I want to bring this tail like that one there. So I want to come here and just sort of get, oh, feel it, feel it, feel it, and bring it into nothing. There we go. That's just a simple wave, okay? But anyway, this is just the foundation for a simple wave. You'll see once we get going there, there. Okay. Wouldn't hurt to have a bit of dark there either, would it, eh? Okay, I've got clean titanium white and I want to put the, you know, I'm going kind to of stamp it along. I'll use my bullshit stick, that way I won't be so nervous. Get it about there lean it on the stick and then control what you're putting on the painting. Now pretty much the top of our wave is this, okay? Come along, load up some more paint. You can see what's happening, can't you, eh? Stamp it along there. It's wet. I want to slowly grab my little brush 
and pull some of that down into that darker color just so it's blending like this it's a simple procedure it's but you can do it you can do it you're a beginner you can do anything i'm telling you right now if i can do it you can do it now i want to turmoil that down into that darker color a little bit and then later on we'll come back and just put the white there again but this is just adding the inside depth of that wave okay and what we're going to do is put some breakers out there breakers are just the white ones you see i might need my little fan brush for that so come out here and we'll put some breakers keep them level so we'll put you know just some there come off the page and within it some there chisel it onto your fan brush get some out here well that's what we call them in Australia breakers they're just out there now while we got that white paint on the brush we'll do the bit heating the sand so we'll come along here the sand there bring a wave up there somewhere I like to grab my little flat scrumbling brush okay it's dry and I want to just hit that and pull it back into the water keeping it on a left and right motion okay and if you want to you're more than welcome do the same with some of your breakers if you feel they're a bit too on the bottom side now I'll grab some more paint and I've got to get the, um, the wash onto the sand a bit more because it's not quite <laughs> I ran out of paint you see uh, we'll bring another one about here one of the sand and probably come across there like that grab that same little scrumbler and in a left and right motion bring it back out into the ocean with the left and right motion that makes sense hey your left and right motion will bring it back out into the ocean and you need some froth see there's no froth so we'll add it bits and pieces there just like that and just delicately do the tops of that left and right motion back into the ocean see and over here as well let's say here we, we can darken some of that up because we were a bit shy on paint before and we'll get some more froth here. Okay, and left and right. And then all we've got to do is detail that wave. Simple wave. Simple but effective. And what we've got here, it looks like the, set, the water's sitting on top of the shallow it's sitting on top of the sand it's shallow I'm just drying the very top half of that wave because it's wet and we want the paint to sit on top of it all right so we're drying that oh while we're here we could probably peel this tape off now we do have a bit of a white ridge there oh, I believe that I don't mind it or we can get our bullshit stick and a flat brush hopefully the paint's still wet so this is something you'll know by watching the whole video and then we can just blur that horizon line up because you don't want that in focus it's a long way away there we go we've got that part of it blurred up and we'll just blur this half of it up so you can put a ship out there there's so many things you can do see what this that little procedure did okay so I've got my flat brush and I want to dance across here just bring it down like that bring it down let it happen itself bring it down bring it down and then I'll just chisel the top of this so it's water sitting on top of there now we've got our scrumbler we need 
let me just get this a bit better here there we go we need I'll do a bit at a time because we've dried that we need the the movement of the foam just in front of that way but that's got to be put on and quickly scrambled left and right like that do it quick because it's dry I've got to work out how dry your painting is when you're doing bits so you'll know you won't get caught up all right I'm gonna just wipe that little brush that I had the white on picking up that darker color again and we'll see if we can just scrumble there we go just some of the shadow within there okay okay I'm just picking up some of the turquoise very lightly on that flat brush and now I'm looking and I'm I've done it here already I'm just getting sitting some of this down so it looks a bit more come on that's a bit of a painting attitude to it you know and sitting some of this down there and it's a matter of going backwards and forwards with this color the darker color the white whatever getting things all back where they belong so I've got that coming up into the shadow of the wave and it's just a matter of tuning it up now like I said, yeah you call this the tuning up tune up your painting a bit and now I'm going to pick up some of the darker one again just so you can see what I'm doing you might have to draw it though I'm, I'm kind of rushing I always rush when I paint because you want that dark under the white there we go and you can have some dark pockets within there as well what happened there I must have just I'll have to look back at the footage and see what I've done there but yeah she got hurt she got hurt boy that painting got hurt there so I'll put that back there yeah picking up that there <laughs> anyway you don't want to muck with it too much now we'll just finish off the water I just sprayed some water on that darker color that I mixed up for the wave that purpley color and I'm getting it on a script liner you want it reasonably inky enough to transfer the shadow of your wave onto the sand so it thinly does it twist your brush as you go don't think about it you just do it and it'll end up going in the right spot <coughs> okay and this just sits everything down so it doesn't look like it's floating on the sand there give it a bit of a wiggle this is a good procedure to practice as well things like this so when you're doing a full painting you'll have the grasp of it okay just before I sign it where this bottom of this wave has got the shadow there leave some shadow and just mimic this wave actually hitting the surface but you're leaving the shadow there to create the depth this is all this is doing I've just got a little filbert here just something to create splash more intense moment there you can see and if you want not that I will because it's only a small wave sometimes you can do little bits just bittering back in the sky because the winds you know the winds grabbed it just little details like that okay okay we're going to finish it off with some nice fine sun rays hitting that water and we'll sign it so pretty much all the way out here on the horizon line and that stuff that we put in there before just to highlight that just where the sun is stamp these blade of paint on there like that there we go and we'll put a signature on here check out the links in the description below there's about nine there I think So let's whack a frame on that and see how she looks. 
Yeah, that's not too shabby. A beautiful beach sunset, the ocean coming towards us. Now we could put some shadows in the sand, even if you want, like footprints or some little stones. There's so much you can do with this piece. It's not too shabby, all right? Okay, thank you for watching. And like I said, check out the links in the description below. There's a link for all my paintings available for purchase and they're done through PayPal. You can join my art group page. Knock yourself out and see what's there, okay? Hope you like what we did here today. And if you did, you make sure you tell your friends. But if you don't like what I'm doing, you tell everybody, all right? All the best, goodbye, good luck, and good on ya.